Why, why would you break yourself over me like that? Why because you... I'm passionate about you. What'd you do? <laughs> I'm... Awkward. So, we return once. We have done a Brandon once Ralph more. in that movie that he did in 2008. Just call us Supermen. Sorry, let's start that again. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's like virtual handshaking right there. We have come back and we've got another review for you. Yeah, Your but... idea, dude. Why is this all on me? This is all my fault. Uh, yeah, we saw Alvin and the chick Chickmunks? Chipmunks? <laughs> I did. Well, let's give it its. Let's. Yeah. Right. Whoop, 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 whoop. Today we went to see Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip. AKA the fourth movie in the franchise. How the f did they get to four? Not The God of Thunder, the number four. Um, so sit back, relax, have a drink or two, and enjoy our review. That was good, all that. Of Alvin. Oh, that's a grown guy on a push scooter. What are you doing with your life? You might have giantism. We're going to see a sh movie. Oh, I didn't say that. We haven't seen it yet. I won't pass judgment. Well, let's be honest, right? We're two 25 year old, year old men. dudes, right? Yeah. We're going to the cinema to see a film that's aimed at five year olds. We're 20 years out of our debt. <laughs> <laughs> Predictions. I need you to tell me. Prediction in... is the the cinema now sells alcohol. <laughs> so. But it's eleven o'clock on a Saturday morning. And we, yeah, yeah, probably there's gonna be kids. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe sh it's gonna Should be a screen full of f***ing rubbish. <laughs> I need you to tell me in as few words as possible why this film could potentially not suck. Uh... Jason Lee. There you go. Just a few words. But Jason Lee's been in all of them. You be. And they've all been. Sh Yep. As a kid, I fucking love those cartoons. So did I. They were great. To be fair, that's why I watched the first one because I used to, as a kid, I used to fucking love Alvin and the Chipmunks. It was my favourite. Chipmunks. Alvin and the C H I P M U N K. Yes. The Chipmunks. Yes, whatever. It's gonna be poo. It's gonna be poo. <laughs> it's gonna be poo. <laughs> Um, but We're not going to count this and like it. We need, to, we need to go in with an open mind, but at the same time, there are a lot of people in this. I went to go see the first film as a youngin. Youngin? A, a youngin of probably about 16 years old. Um, at the same, it had David Cross in it from Arrested Development, and I'm, I think he's been in subsequent ones, but they've got Tony Hale, who is also of Arrested Development fame, in this one. Playing the bad guy. Yeah, maybe they just like Arrested Development. But maybe they just actors. like Arrested Development. The voices of the chipmunks are Justin Long. Yeah. Jesse McCartney. Sad and notice stuff on her. As in Beautiful Soul, Jesse McCartney fame. Yeah. Um, and some other rando. Do you know what's really funny? How a couple of weeks ago we saw Rod Long 2 and we were sort of talking about films that like set themselves in Miami. Oh, this set. And what's this? Yeah, in Miami. Fucking Miami. Well, it's just like a natural a, lull of a film. Let's like just go to Miami. Of, like normal sort of cat and mouse chase type shit. It's yeah. like, oh, we better go to Miami. Yeah. So the plot of the film, are from the trailer. Well, by the looks of it, obviously, like Dave meets a lady, a new lady who's friend. A, who's a different lady from the lady from the first film and probably subsequent films. Yeah, he's, he's probably a different lady. D D Dave's a stud. He basically. is. But the baggage that comes with said lady is she has a son who's a dick and hits Alvin with a f***ing golf club. We can probably, yeah, they go to Miami, obviously, to shut the f***ing uh, engagement down, because they're like, well, if I don't get engaged, then we ain't got to be friends. But let's be honest. It's not spoilers, we haven't seen the film yet. But let's be honest, we all know at the f***ing end, they're going to be friends with the kid, and they're going to f***ing get engaged, and the whole film would have just been a waste of an hour and a half. Yes. And Did people you? at work call me Alvin, because they're horrible like that. So, yeah, that's f***ing cruel, isn't it? Call you Alvin or something like that. Sort of like a chipmunk, apparently. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like people used to, to pet piss out of me as a child because my, my middle name is Theodore. And they used to be like, ah, oh, Theodore. They sing the song to you and go, Yes, yeah, all the f time. Do, do, do. All the every day. It, all the time. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. I might have to get Starbucks. I might have to f get 18 beers. <laughs> 18 beers. 18, 18 beers. Hey, go in. Yeah, okay. Cue the music.
enjoyed that. You f***ing enjoyed that? It's <laughs> not a bad movie. Well, yeah. I know I'm a 25 year old man, that's fine. But if I was a kid and I wanted to go see that film, I'd be like, this is great. But, going to see it as a 25 year old man, I was like... It's what I like to refer to as an ironer. It's a film that you can put on on a Sunday whilst you're doing the ironing and you can go, yeah, that's alright. If you have kids... Oh, if I had kids, I'd put that on and I'd yeah. sit and watch that I wouldn't be like, this is horrible, like, turn it off. Yeah. Get it away from me. And we know our Burn demographic it. isn't exactly like people with kids, but if you've got kids, I can see this film. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say that. If we're going to recommend it like that, I'd say I'd agree with so you. you're not on it entirely. I'm not on it entirely. But like, say for me, okay, right, you've looked at it from a kid's approach. <laughs> I've looked at it from the 25 year old me approach. Okay. Yeah, wow, well, why the f did I even get out of bed this morning? That's that's how I feel. <laughs> there are worse ways to spend a Saturday. That worst ways to spend a Saturday. Yeah. We just went to the cinema for an hour and a half and watched three chipmunks go on an adventure to Miami. They sung. <laughs> they sung. Anyway, just this this score, score this. Let's score it. Uh, you go first because you you seem to be very passionate about this. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a ten out of eight. Okay, I'm gonna go. 42. Really? Actually, no, do you know what? Because that's less than half. I'm going to go 44. I'll say, like, on our AEA scale. Half. You're going to give it a half? Yeah, I'm going to give it. Really? I'm going to give it 44. Well, the plot that did a 180, yeah. the predictability of it, the fing cheese ball acting, you're going to give it whatever. We're split. This is the first time we've ever been completely split yeah, about Obviously, it's like a point or two. We're yeah. not completely split because I'm not like, I loved it, but I enjoyed it. It's a film. It's a good film. Yeah, I, I wish I'd got up and played computer games. You did that most days because you're an ugly little so There's a 34 point difference between us, right? Yeah. So, so you take half of that then, which is what, 17? So add 7, so 27. Maths! Maths! Pop Vulture score. I what I was just doing there. Number. I've got a bit of sick in my mouth. <laughs> wow. I didn't know what this made a strange noise. Pop Vulture score from that point onwards is... 27. Which I think is criminally low. Criminally? Um, wow. We'll settle this off camera, not in a weird way. We will. We're going to take shirts off and roll around together. Uh... If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. That is a thumbs up. Is this the same like? thing. Don't know what that is. Give us a comment. Um, give us a subscribe. Yeah, give us a give us a subscribe. A subscribe would be very nice. Uh, so yeah, wrapping this up. See you later. Basically, it's wrapped up. Go watch the film. Bye.